Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through global warming guys. So this comes under the climate changes only guys. Okay, so global warming. So I hope every one of you heard the word global warming, right? Yes. So basically global warming is nothing but the temperature of the earth or any kind of a planet. If it is increasing than the average situations, that is nothing but global warming. Okay, guys, we'll be discussing about the causes and all those things in detail, guys. So don't worry, just give me five minutes, everything will be clear for you. Okay, okay, so first let us go through the definition. So the term global warming refers to increase in the average surface temperature of our planet or any planet due to the effect of greenhouse gases, guys. Guys, we'll be discussing about greenhouse gases also, don't worry. Okay, so such as, so we're discussing about greenhouse gases separately, but let us give some names for us. Okay, so carbon dioxide, water vapor, chlorofluorocarbon. So these are the most three common things which are having the high quantities in the air, which causes the global warming. Okay, okay. So you might be having it out that, okay, what are the causes of global warming? So how does it happen? And why does it happen? You might be having it out, right? Yes. So there are two major causes, guys. Okay. Okay, so the first cause is nothing but the natural cause and the second is nothing but anthropological or man-made. Okay, so natural cause. So it includes a release of a methane gas from Arctic thunder and wetlands. So basically when the, when the ice melts in any kind of cold areas, that things, the ice blocks will be, whenever they are melting, they will be releasing some gases inside from them guys. So those gases could cause global warming okay so that comes under the natural similarly man-made guys okay so man-made it includes burning of fossil fuels so basically we will be most of us will be driving vehicles right so that is nothing but a fossil fuel the diesel the petrol everything is a fuel right so when these are burned or deforestation is done or popular sorry or popular exploitation that is nothing but population exploitation like increasing in population population or urbanization converting city sorry villages into cities okay and pollution so these are the few common things which causes the pollution guys okay and this pollution indirectly causes global warming okay okay so impacts of global warming Okay, guys, we'll be again discussing the impacts and causes of global warming. So don't worry. Okay, so impacts of global warming. So rise in sea level. So basically global warming is indirectly the temperature is increasing, right? So if temperature is increasing, the places where the ice is there, like Arctica, Antarctica, like icy zones, you can say. So at that places, the ice blocks will be starting melting. So which indirectly increases the water level that is nothing but sea level. Okay. So the density of water decreases as the temperature increases. Thus the increase of temperature will increase in the level of ocean. Okay. So chance changes in precipitation that is nothing but rain and snowfalls will completely change. Okay. Melting of ice at the earth poles near Antarctica and Greenland, Greenland and Arctica seas so will increase the water level. Okay. So loss of species of ecosystem. So basically if there are some animals or plants which grow in cold areas as the temperature increase they cannot grow and they will be extinct guys okay so scarcity of fresh water in the areas of glaciers okay okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea right okay so now you might be having a doubt that how you can prevent these kind of things okay we, dis we understood that these things are dangerous but how you can eradicate them or how you can prevent them you might be having a doubt right yes so land and water pollution should be stopped Okay, so land and water pollution. So whatever types of pollution which we are doing should be reduced. Even air pollution also you can write guys. Like releasing smokes into air. Yes. So massive awareness. Okay, let me write it here only because it will be best for you. Right. Okay. So mass awareness programs should be conducted. So awareness should be given guys. First of all. Okay. After that, afforestation should be done. That is another planting trees should be done. Machine of a greenhouse gases should be stopped. So emission of a greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, all those things, emission should be reduced. Okay. Similarly, alternative sources of energy should be used. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about global warming, right? Okay. So now let us go through some effects and causes of global warming guys. Okay. Okay. So here, this is a printed notes guys. Okay. So in this, we'll be discussing, I'll be just going through each and every point. Don't worry. Okay. So effects. Okay. Okay, so effects are nothing but the issues that are faced due to global warming. So due to global warming, there is a chance of heat waves. 
okay expansion of a desert area so basically in deserts the temperature is high right so if there is a small village or some places which are not having any kind of people in them the temperature will slowly increase and that place will be reduced reduce in the underwater level like evaporation will take place the soil will lose its moisture and all those things and it will end up to be a desert in the future in that way so that's also an issue with the global warming so natural fires or forest fires could happen okay similarly more evaporation of water from the water body so as well as the oceans yes so melting of ice caps in arctic and antarctic regions yes more clouds will be formed in the region okay so shorter and warmer winter coupled with longer and hotter summers yes so the winter seasons will be reducing and the summer season will increase okay change in a rainfall pattern yes because the water evaporates faster so the rainfalls will also increase guys okay similarly floods and everything might be caused okay so rise in sea level yes disturbance in farming yes similarly more dots and impact of plants and animals okay so these are some kind of effects you can say guys these are the problems that we will be facing due to global warming okay so now let us go through some control or remedial measures so how you can control them okay okay by using a bioglass plants guys so basically bioglass plants are not going to are going to give you the energy which you can use in your vehicles or anywhere and you should always avoid so here it is so reduce in consumption of fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum so you should reduce them and you you, you should use biogas or electricity for these kind of things because they, those will not be generating any kind of gases or anything so there will be no global warming okay so use of nuclear plants okay and increase of forest covers that is nothing but plant trees indirectly and use avoid usage of automobiles which use petroleum and all those things and initialization of pollution control devices in autonomous systems okay okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on global warming right okay so i'll be sharing the notes for acid rains guys so it is not in our syllabus but better go through it at least once and already this acid rains the exact topic has been discussed in our previous semesters like in our third semester environmental studies subject so i'll be directly linking that video in the playlist directly for you okay okay so in the next lecture we will be continuing with the ozone layer guys okay so we'll be discussing about ozone layer depletion and we'll be going through its effects and causes again okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching